Hello friends, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. In today's lecture, we'll start with one question from Digital Logic topic that appeared in GATE 2017 paper. This topic or this question is not at all difficult, but yes, you need to solve all the parts so that you get to the correct answer, okay? So the question is, if W, X, Y, and Z are Boolean variables, then which one of the following is incorrect? And you are given four options. So as I said that you need to solve the options and attain the answer so that you can match from the right hand side and the answer or reduction form of left hand side and then keep solving all the parts till one of the options comes out to be incorrect that means the right hand side and the left hand side both the reduced forms do not match okay so we'll start with option a let's write down what is option a the left hand side wx plus w multiplied by x plus y plus x into x plus y. So if we expand this, what we will get? We would get wx plus wx plus wy. I'm just applying the distributive law or the I'm just multiplying w with all the variables that are present inside the bracket. Okay. Plus x into x plus x into y. All right. Now, how can I reduce this? See, wx plus wx. If both these, see, if uh, the value of wx is 0, then 0 plus 0 would again be 0. And if it is 1, then 1 plus 1 would give you 1. So, instead of both these terms, I can write as a single wx term plus wy plus x into x. Now x into x is basically either if x is 0 then it would be 0 dot 0 or you can say it can be written as 1 dot 1. Okay so I for now whatever would be the multiplication then the value would come out to be x only. So what do I actually mean by that? See if x is 0 0 dot 0 or x dot x would again be 0 if x is 1 then x dot x that means 1 dot 1 would be 1 so i can write it as x only because in case of x equal to 0 the output is 0 in case of x equal to 1 the output is 1 now i write the last term as it is now from this term i can further reduce it by writing it as x taking x common from this term I get y, I get w then there is no x in this term if I take x common from this term I get 1 okay because x can also be written as x into 1 all right now if I take x common from this term I get y so this expression is equivalent to x into and this remaining term would come here so w y plus this now this term can be written as x into c1 plus anything would give you 1 only because in case of plus operator or or operator if you are oring the value with any variable the 1 or the true value with any variable the value or the outcome would come out to be 1 only because 1 odd with any value either 0 or 1 would give you 1 only all right so i'm writing it as 1 plus wy so this value reduces to x plus wy now let's see what is the right hand side the right hand side is the same so this is correct we have to find which option is incorrect okay so now let's proceed to the second option the b option so the b option has wx complement multiplied by y plus z complement whole complement plus w complement x okay and you are given the right hand side now if you apply de morgan's law directly then every uh, value would be negated as well as the operator would also change so what do i mean by that see this by applying de morgan's law to this we, what we would get w would be negated or complemented and it would become w bar 
Now W was initially being multiplied or there was an AND operator between W and X bar. Now this operator would be replaced with plus. X bar would be complemented and it would become X and applying this law further I would get Y bar dot Z. Okay and the remaining term as it is. Now W bar plus X plus y bar z plus w bar x this can be reduced to the expression w bar plus y bar z plus x taking x as common from the second and the last term i write it as 1 plus w bar again following this property that or with 1 gives 1 then this would be reduced to w bar plus y bar z plus x okay and let's check what is the right hand side w bar y bar z plus x so yes this is also correct now let's come to the c option and see if it is correct or incorrect so this statement is or this expression is this y plus x z bar plus w bar x bar or you can also say complement then let's reduce it first let's multiply and then see how it can be reduced w x complement multiplied by y plus w x complement multiplied by x multiplied by z complement plus w complement x complement and this entire expression is multiplied by y. So let's further multiply it by y and then see wx complement y again multiplied by y plus wx complement multiplied by or when I say multiplied by I am basically meaning that it is the and operator that is in operation right now. So w and x complement and x and z complement and y plus w complement and x complement and y now y and y is again y so i can write it as w x complement y plus c x and with x complement would always give zero because if x is equal to zero then x complement would be one and one and it with 0 would give you 0. Similarly, if x is equal to 1, complement would be 0. And again, 1 and with 0 would give you 0. So, this would reduce to w and 0 and z complement and y plus w complement x complement and y. Now anything multiplied or anything ended with 0 is 0. So I am reduced to the expression w x complement y plus w complement x complement y. Now if I take x complement y common, I will be left with 1 plus uh, x complement y common. So I will be left with w plus w complement and if w is equal to 1 this expression would be equal to 1 if w is equal to 0 w complement would be 1 and again this expression would be equal to 1 so it would be something like this so it can be reduced to x complement and with y so the reduced form is x complement y but here it has been given as x y complement so this is not correct and this is the incorrect option so this would be our answer because we had to mark the incorrect option so this question was not at all easy as i stated initially but at every step you need to remember what laws are applicable you need to solve to the most easier form or the simplest reducible form that you can solve and then compare sometimes students reduce it to a form that does not match with the right hand side that is given and although their answer is correct to some extent but you try and you know you need to try to reduce it to a form that is almost similar or equal to the form that is given on the right hand side and if in case it is 
not matching just like C option then you mark such answers okay so you need to confirm that in case your answer is not matching is there any alternate step so that you can arrive to the answer that is specified but here we saw that there is no alternate step okay we almost followed the basic steps of multiplication and 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 or and there are no alternatives that we could have followed to arrive at a different answer so c is the answer here that's all for today's lecture thank you for watching this video if you understood the question please like this video and please let us know how did you find this video in the comment section below subscribe to our channel of easy engineering classes for more such tutorials and press the bell icon to get the notifications of our upcoming videos in future thank you good luck